My Rex has had me pushed up against a wall. Ooh, my chest piece. Okay. Wait, no, wait, wait. Get him! I whistled it all I could. And welcome back to Ark, where today we will be fighting the dragon boss. As you may notice, I am down a Sinnoh. Yeah, I forgot to feed another one. Um, honestly, I just keep on forgetting to feed them. It, it's a habit. And... <gasps> okay, uh... Let's just get, let's just get to Red Ob before I throw myself off my treehouse again. Okay, and now we are at Red Ob. So, I'm gonna have to set out all my guys here. I already got them on me. Um, there's definitely some stuff here I did not need to bring with me. Like, all, the, all my tranks. Dang it. I just noticed that I have all my tranks with me. Um, but basically, I'm gonna get all my Rexes out, placed out, so that way... I can get them organized. Um, I'm going to save Utah and the Daedons for last. So I am also noticing these guys have not healed at all because I did not remove them from their cryopods after the Megapithecus fight. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give them a good 20 minutes to heal up, but I'm also going to get a feeding trough out here for them so that way... That's also the first male I've thrown down, I believe. Isn't it? First f oh, it's the first female, not male. All the other ones have been male so far. So, they all just got mate boosted. Okay, I am on my last batch of Rexes. I went and got my feeding trough set up. Um, I did not get enough meat for the Deodons, though. I'm going to have to pop out one of my car cars and just go like on a kill spree here real quick. Um, I just grabbed two stacks of meat out of the trough. I guess I could grab a stack. I think a thousand meat would be fine for a Deodon. I mean, that might be too little. But it should be enough. I, I'm doubting myself, because... I know, like, without a stack mod, I think meat only stacks up to 20 if it's raw, and then 30 if it's cooked. So... Oh. You need to squeeze in. Okay. So I do got me another cinema crops going right now. I have one breeding up at the tech base right now. So next episode, we will be back to having a cinema. I'm also getting kind of tired of having to move around without one. As you can tell, I keep on trying to jump and then double jump to fly up to the top. I mean, I've done that so many times now. Okay, so... I'm going to be throwing all my cryopods here that I don't need. Cryo. Oh, yeah. I still got these guys to put out. Got to remember that. Got to remember that. Um, Transfer those over. Yep. Then I'll get these last guys thrown out. And then we should be good to go. I got the meat here for the Deodons. Uh, I just went and grabbed a stack from the tech trough, or the tech trough over at the tech base, and then another stack from the treehouse base. But now the treehouse base is getting pretty low, so. Okay, I think we're ready. Now, just have to go hit the obelisk and teleport in. Alrighty. I'm getting butterflies again. Um, I'm only gonna say this once. I am expecting casualties today. Because carnivores take increased fire damage compared to herbivores. So technically the best creatures for this would be a Therizino army. Um, so if this fails, we will be trying this again with a Therizino army. Uh, so. Here we go. The Deodons look like they're too far. I want to be in the bubble. Okay. I think the Deodons are good. Deodons are good. Deodons are good. Don't worry about them. Don't worry about them. It's got to bring them. Please bring them. They're in the bubble. Oh, they're just like right on the edge though. Please. I got two Deodons. Where's my Utah? It's under all these guys. Okay. That... 
is our target there, boys. We will wait for him to land. Yeah, I forgot to put the food on the Deodons. Incoming! Oh, damn. We got Pterodons inbound. Oh wait, no, no, no. Whistle neutral, whistle neutral. My Rex has had me pushed up against a wall. Ooh, my chest piece. Okay. Wait, no, wait, wait. Get him! I whistled it all I could. My Rexes are in the lava. This is not a good thing. Oh no. Also, none of them have a courage buff. Uh-oh. Oh no! I'm on fire! Oh, I need to get in closer. Not all of them are getting the buff. There we go. I think they have him grounded. They might have him grounded. They're gnawing away though. They're going. It's going. There you go. Let's check some Rex's... Uh, Healths. Oh, we're we're seeing some half healths. We're seeing some half healths. Uh oh. You're dead. That's one day it on down. Uh oh. That's bad. That's a bad sign. I also need to keep sitting here courage buffing, and I keep on forgetting. That's our first Rex. Second. I'm gonna try and help here. Okay. Ooh, get away from that. We got so many Rexes in the lava right now, it's not funny. Oh no. Okay, here comes more Pteranodons, great. Where that ball's heading right for me. Rex, keep me guarded. Okay. They're going for him. I'm expecting more casualties, I'm not gonna lie. Hopefully, there's another one. I gotta keep on courage buffing as much as I can. Oh god, come on. Rexes, you can do this, I know you can. Or I'm hoping you can. They're getting him. He's not attacking much back now. They're not burning either, they're not standing on that lava. We got this. We so got this. Get some headshots in. Woo! Yes! That's it! We've done it! That is the dragon. That is the dragon beaten. Oh my god, yes! Oh, and I forgot my taxidermy tool. This is, oh, we lost some Rexes. There's a Deodon sitting there in the fire burning. But, oh my, that is, that's it. We've beaten all three bosses on the island. Oh God. That's all of them. That means we're almost done here, guys. We're almost done on the island. 
That's... That's insane. I mean, I think last time we tried this, we only got to the Broodmother. And I mean, I was preparing to fight the Megapithecus. But now, we've gotten all the way to the Dragon on Alpha. Oh my god. This this army as well. I'm going to have to make a new one. Because they've... They have sustained some casualties. They've they've sustained damaged. Oh my! The was it the broodmother one? The broodmother army? That one would be too weak for this. They would have died. Oh god! You're nearly dead. You're below half health. Um, you're at half health. Uh, slightly above. Okay, so we were doing a lot better than I thought we were. Um, this is the mutated one. I'm glad the mutated boy didn't die, so we still got green back. That's his name, by the way. Can't change it now, because it is there forever. And I am hungry again. And I did that whole thing shirtless, I just realized that. Because immediately when we got in there, my chest piece broke. <laughs> so. Oh, that was... Is everything... Yeah, everything's about to break on me. I'm gonna have to get another set, either crafted up or repaired, but... I think the only one that we're going to be bringing with us is Backbone. I mean, he... He's been with us forever, alright? Backbone, again, is our main man. Alright, he's got 44 in stamina and 42... Oh, wait, no, yeah. Also, wait. You're not bred, you're wild. I don't have you ties yet. Oh my, so I've been taking the guy that'd be really good with stamina and health <laughs> into battle. And all I need is a Utah with good melee. Oh, I could breed these guys up and make a... I can't. I can't replace Backbone. Backbone has been with us through every boss fight, all right? Backbone will be with us there to the Overseer. He, I am riding him in, all right, to battle. Too bad. You know what? Too bad Utahs don't have tech saddles or I would make him one, you know? That'd be awesome. I don't know what the... What would you even do with a Utai Tech Saddle? I mean, again, you would give it weapons, but like, what else? Like, what purpose would a Utai need a Tech Saddle? All it, you use them to courage buff, all right? That's what you use them for. Okay, and I am here at the Tech Base. I don't know why I flew here. I could have stopped at the Red Tree House or the Redwood House, but I just kept flying. It just seemed like fun. I am now. I'm in the water. Great. You know what? Since I'm, in, since I'm in here, I may as well show you guys my baby Helicoprion. If you guys remember last episode, we tamed these guys up, and they were actually pretty hard to tame. I kept on having them get killed. But once I figured it out, we got it. Um, So I was able to get one that had a 55% on conversion. So it's a 50-50 on uh, success rate. But again, you can level that up. And again, this is only the second generation. So, I found three of them. Again, the one that we tamed yet yesterday with good health, or good melee. Then I got one with... Yeah, we, I got one with good health yesterday. And I got one with good melee after that. And then shortly after that, all the conversion rates I had were like 27, 23, or like 33. And then I went out and got uh, one with a 55. And surprising... I was shocked. I don't. I, there's legit no way with Super Spyglass to tell which ones are going to give you what. There's no way to tell what the crafting percentage is. But there's one last thing I want to do this episode before we go. And that's going to be light. Tech. Is, are there no tech lights? Tech jump pad. Tech canteen. I swear there's a tech light. Like I know where the tech light comes from. So you guys know Scorched Earth, right? <laughs> the next map, right? Yeah, uh, we don't get tech lights until then. So, oh, god dang it. I may as well just do it then. May as well just light this place up. I've, I've been holding out, and I thought... Let's go wall. Are there seriously... Do I not know how to craft a damn light? Okay. Okay. Structures. Electrical. Electrical? Eee, I think I know it's... Uh, no, no, no. Here we go. Turn it on. 
Dang it. That's what I'm missing. Circuit boards. I could have sworn I had some of them. I was... Dinopithecus, you better have some on you. Damn it, you don't. Um, Des, maybe? I've been cry I've cryoed you since then, though, I believe. Yes, 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 I have. Archie, I just took you out, so yeah, you're... You're good. But anyways, I was gonna show you guys all the neat stuff I've gotten. I mean... I was gonna light this place up. Like, like look at I was holding out for the tech lights, but yeah, now... Now we gotta wait until Scorched Earth to light this place up. And then we're gonna be gone.